Hey, how's it going? Good to have you back and welcome to the Live Another Life series. So, at long last, we've finally become the Guildmaster. Now, we have access to the real payoff for doing this storyline so early in a character build. And that is the Thieves' Caches. We get three in each of the main cities, giving us a total of 15. However, there's a 16th in Solstheim. So, before I do my ever well, my last ever video on these caches, I've put together this quick guide on how to get access to the one in Solstheim. So let's crack on. And Tyrend's never actually been to Solstheim yet, so uh, we head over to Windhelm and down to the uh, gates that lead to the dock. And if you've never been there before yourself, um, make sure you've got 250 gold so you can take the ship. After, the, after you've done that, you can just... Uh, fast travel backwards and forwards. God, this is a miserable city. And looking for old Salt Sage. That's not you, where is he? And nope, not you. And not you. It must be you. There is Soul Sage. If you're looking for passage to Solstheim, you won't find a finer vessel than the Northern Maiden. How much will it cost me? I'll give you a fair price. Not many people headed over there these days. If you ask me, I can't blame them. Things aren't what they used to be out there. They so I settle there at all then. And, passage, and I can always use the coin. Still interested in heading over there? Yeah, go on. Um, you've got yourself a ship. We'll cast off immediately. Oh, if you've done the whole uh, Helgen thing, uh, you'd be getting slightly different dialogue, by the way. So, uh, but don't worry about that. That's for those of you who haven't done or been to Solstheim yet. Well, here we are. Welcome to Ravenrock. Just be careful here. Things aren't what they used to be. And we've discovered Ravenrock. I kind of like Solstein. I don't recognize you. So I'll assume this is your first visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. State your intentions. Ah, uh, just looking You'll for work. One of the worst places in Morrowind to do that, but suit yourself. Just remember, Ravenrock is sovereign territory of House Redoran. This is Morrowind, not Skyrim. While you're here, you will be expected to abide by our laws. Any questions? Yeah, don't care. Just, just. Captain. Why is Second it suspicious? The security of Raven Rock is my primary concern. This isn't exactly the city of Blacklight. We're on the frontier out here. We've had more than a fair share of troubles. After all we've been through together, I refuse to let Councillor Morvain down. Okay, yeah, you're going to have to go through that dialogue and uh, you can you can escape out of it if you want to, you can take it further, doesn't matter. Um, of course, those of you who've been here already know this. Okay, so what we've got to do is run down to the blacksmith here. And we've come in here at night, so uh, we'll have to wait. And by the magic of uh, editing, there he is. You're right, fella. You haven't seen Crescius Corellius, have you? That foolish old man's taking my pickaxe again. Well, the fuss no, no, was simple no, pickaxe. This just your run-of-the-mill pickaxe. I'm talking about an ancient Nordic pickaxe. They don't exactly grow on trees, you know. Can't you just get the uh, guards to find Crescius? I handle these things on my own. Look, if you see Crescius, tell him to give me that pickaxe back, and I'll pay you for the trouble. Okay, right, so you don't have to well, actually well, do that question. In fact, I suggest you don't. Uh, I've noticed a shadow mark by your door. So tell me, 
How's my brother Delvin? Still spending his nights at the Ragged Flagon trying to win Vex's heart? He's well. Good to hear. Damn layabout never even bothers to send his own flesh and blood a letter saying how he's doing. Can you imagine? Well, have you sent him anyway, one? Anyway, I suppose you're looking for work. Well, I got bad news. This place is drier than a damn bone. Nothing at all. Make some coin, eh? That's the spirit. I'll tell you what. The guild's got a problem out here that I've been trying to deal with for years, but haven't been able to handle. The Thieves Guild has a problem out here. Like that. I'm all alone out here, with no one to watch my back. And besides, it's really my problem anyway. I caused it. What did you do? A fellow Breton who went by the name Esmond Tyne showed up on my doorstep about a fortnight ago. He noticed the shadow marks like you did, and I thought he was one of us. He sold that something he from you, right? Right out from under my nose. Can you believe it? Yeah, I think it's I can. It's my own formula for improved bone mold. Took me years to perfect. Where's Esmond Tyne now? Well, before he ran off, he was talking some nonsense about trying to fence goods to the Reeklings at Castle Karstag. I told him he was crazy to even think about talking to those vicious little buggers. But he wouldn't listen. I'd bet a fat purse of coin that he's either dead or hiding out up there. I'll get the formula back that, for you. I'll make sure you're set up right. You won't be disappointed. Nope, we won't. Okay, so uh, this is where we've got to go. I won't actually do the journey up here, but there's uh, yeah, be prepared for quite a few fights. It can get quite hairy, actually, uh, especially at a, a, a lower level. Okay, here we are, and. Uh, Quickly show you on the map. We're just just up there. Okay, and I'm going solo. I'm going to use the whole uh, illusion thing. I'll be doing muffle and uh, invisibility. I kind of got a soft spot for reeklings. I had a uh, a reeking pet follower called Cedric. I've become very fond of the blue bastard. So I tend not to uh, bother them too much unless I absolutely have to. Okay, so that's all you've got to do is get over here. You can do this without the invisibility spell. Just have decent sneak. Okay. And the formula. You get a leveled uh, weapon. And you get Thieves Guild variant armour. These are sleeveless ones. Uh, they're quite cold, I guess. And uh, just get out of here. I mean, if you want to, you can start a fight with them and go looting and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, they haven't bothered you, so leave them alone. You bully. Okay, here we are. Let's go and get the gang. Let me guess. You want to talk? No? No, I don't. I wouldn't want to follow you. Come on, my little furry friend. Of course. So I'm right behind you. Good man. I did pick up a little dog as well, um, but he disappeared. Poor little chap. So he's up here, is he? No, he's gone. Oh, right. There you go, discover them as well. Oh, he's gone. Okay, so let's just go back to uh, Raven Rock. Yeah, like I say, the journey up there can be a bit tricky, guys, so go prepared for uh, a, a bit of a fight. And you meet some pretty tough enemies, I tell you. Any luck okay. Down Esmond? He's dead, but at least I, I found the formula. To head up there. Sounds like a bloody fool got what he deserved. Here, I want you to take this key. Head inside my house and unlock the door in the basement. Help yourself to whatever you like inside. I won't be using it anymore. 
Now this is what we've come for. Okay, just literally come down here. Uh, you've got a weapon plaque on the wall as well. You get leveled items, but it only spawns once. Now, some of this stuff spawns uh, several times, okay? But the weapon on, and shield on the uh, the plaque don't. So I'm going to wait till I'm a higher level to get a better uh, weapon. Okay, and we get an enchanted weapon as well. And read this letter. And basically, that's saying that he's uh, Sapphire's dad. And not only do you get all this lovely yummy stuff, if you open this case, you get a full set of the Black, uh, black Guard's armour. Uh, which is pretty damn decent. Oh, and a whole load of uh, sweet rolls. And nommy nommy. A lot of this stuff doesn't respawn, some of it does. Okay. I think that's pretty much all we need now. Yeah, I'll come back for the uh, weapon plaque uh, a future date. Yeah, it's one good thing about these huge caches. They they do respawn after every 10 days. And what that means is you've got to leave the city for 10 days. Okay. Now, uh, importantly, you don't have to be guild master to, become, uh, to get this uh, particular cache. It's, uh, it's a bit like the uh, one in Riften, um, where as soon as you join the Thieves Guild, um, the, one, the, the caches in Riften become available to you. And I think once you join the Thieves Guild and you come and do this little quest, then this one can become available to you. The rest you've got to do guild, become Guildmaster and do the small jobs and the special city uh, jobs, blah, blah, blah. But not this, this particular cache. Okay, right. Now, do watch my next video. Um, it's going to do a, a guide and a speed run to show you where all the caches are. And be the last one I ever do. Now, so we come back here with a letter ideal. and you give it I, to Sapphire. I can't believe it. All those years on the farm and my mother never told me about any of this. Words can't even begin to describe how much I appreciate you bringing this to me. Here, take this. I used to carry it for good luck, but I think you deserve it more than I do. Okay, now she's giving you an exquisite Sapphire. We Okay, now this is actually worth a lot of money. I would sell this once you've got your your speech up high um, and maybe got some gear that enhances your your selling prices. But it's a 5,000 one. Or you can put it in a bit of jewellery, in a bit of enchanted jewellery, and you're making a lot of money. So anyway, let's That'd see if Sapphire's sweeter now. Look. If I was so will, will you tell me your real name? You to know it's because you were new. You know what I mean? Look, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't even really know anyone here. Why She's here mental. Anyway? It's she like is absolutely is bonkers. Okay, so Maybe I hope you enjoyed this video. Right. Please watch my next one. It's going to be the last run of the uh, these caches I'll ever do, and it shows you exactly where uh, to get them all. Hope you enjoyed the vid, guys. See you later. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later!